Hey fam, welcome back to my channel Update Savvy. Microsoft has released a new cumulative update today that is on July 14, 2020. The name of the update is KB4565503 and the OS build is 19041.388. Install this update, you have a two options. Either directly you can install it here like I'm doing right now or you can download it for an offline installer. I will show you how to do that. So fam, you can open this website. I will provide this link in the description. So you can paste the name of the build here like this and then do the search and then accordingly for your product you can either uh, go for the windows 10 if you have uh, 1903 installed so you can just download it here it is for x86 which is a uh, 32 bit system x64 for a 64 bit system and then for arm and for other systems so you can just click here and uh, then this will pop up and you have to just um, click on the link and then the downloading will be start from here so once this downloading will be finished you can just directly run it and install it to the system so it is kind of an offline installer of it so now let's look into the highlights improvement and the fixes of this update so fam this is uh, official website of microsoft so you can go here and you can click here in this release and then uh, the build number which i told you and the important thing is that it is mentioned here you can go, come down and starting in the July 2020 all the windows update will be disabled remote effects vGPU feature because of the security vulnerability so there is a security vulnerability in remote effect for more information you can just uh, go to this link read about it more uh, once this feature will disable, attempt to start virtual machines will fail and the message such as the following will appear. The virtual machine cannot be started because of the remote effect capable GPU and the uh, virtual machine cannot be started. And they have also mentioned this. If you re-enable re remote effects, so the following message will appear. And then uh, if you go for the highlights, uh, you can see here like uh, the improvement, uh, improved securities in Microsoft Store and then the others, uh, you know, for using input devices. So you can just go here and read out all the improvement highlights they have mentioned. And then for the improvement and the fixes, so they have addresses and issues in certain apps. And then again, if you go here, so it is more like um, the, if you want uh, in the more detail, you can read it from here. It's like. Uh, addresses and issues might cause uh, XC to fail um, and the error message will be like this. So in this update there are some issues which is already known and open, a user open a Microsoft Excel for a Chinese and Japanese might uh, receive an error. Yeah so this is already known. See here how to get this update which, uh, which already I have told you. So I have provided you the link of uh, this which is mentioned here by the Microsoft. So even if you go here and you know just click it. So the first option they have mentioned that it will be downloaded automatically download in windows update and the second method which i have already told you you can just go to the microsoft update catalog and just put it here in the search and it will show you the offline installers so thank you for watching my video guys please like and subscribe my channel update savvy 